Something inside me has always been there. But now it's awake. someone to show me my place in all this. Hey everybody, we're almost a month away from Star Wars. They just dropped a new trailer. Let's break it down. They changed some of the cuts in this too for clarity, I think. And there was a big interview over the weekend with Adam Driver supposedly saying a whole bunch of stuff about Rey's character. I'll explain what he was probably talking about. I don't think it's exactly what a lot of news outlets are reporting it to be. I don't think he actually gave away any spoilers. The ticket giveaway is still going on too. I'll explain that at the end of the video, but just be sure to subscribe to get everything. So probably the biggest change in this trailer is the addition of a couple characters like C-3PO. Obviously we knew he was going to be in the movie. He was also in the behind the scenes video that I posted a couple days ago. And there's a couple different ships that we see the characters on in that they correspond to some of the shots in this trailer too. But in addition to that, they also released a Japanese poster because this trailer is basically like the Japanese trailer. It's a really cool riff on the last poster that they released. So they're obviously sticking with that red motif. They've just shifted the character's positions and now Luke is holding his father's lightsaber and Rey is up at the top here. So for everybody that was making that Darth Vader helmet comparison, like the evil character always goes up in Darth Vader's spot up here because of all the visual metaphors to the classic films. Original trilogy, Darth Vader was typically the shadow that was above all the other characters like he was always watching them, coming for them. So when that last poster was released, everyone's like, oh my God, Luke is in the Darth Vader spot. Even Mark Hamill got in on the fun, just trolling the fans a little bit. Now they have Rey up here. And even though I don't think that they're telling you that she's going to become evil, I think the more darker aspects of her personality will come out during the film because of all the heavy themes that the film is trading in. Like the whole idea that the dark side is overshadowing everything that they're doing. It's the darkest film in the trilogy. So you have this character with infinite potential. Wouldn't it make sense that given the right set of circumstances in the push in the wrong direction, she would go dark. But ultimately, I don't think that's what the trailer's trying to say. I think it's trying to say that things are going in a different direction. They just want to tease you with the idea that people might go super dark. And Kylo Ren extending his hand out there. I think it's much clearer that this shot is not connected to this shot of her saying, I'm looking for someone to show me my way. I think this is when she's still talking to Luke Skywalker on Auk 2 and she's trying to understand where he's coming from and explain why she needs so much help. But there are also some better shots of her taking the dive off the cliff and coming back out. It sounds like that might be a version of her Luke Skywalker Dagobah cave scene where she confronts the darkness within her. This isn't going to go the way you think it's going to go. A lot of people also saw that shot and that line of dialogue from Luke Skywalker sort of looking like he's gotten a beat down and he's staring up at somebody who's coming after him. And a lot of people saw that and thought that it might be connected to a flashback scene when the Knights of Ren come to destroy the Jedi Temple. 
So because Luke Skywalker's holding his father's lightsaber in this poster, not his classic green lightsaber that he constructed before Return of the Jedi, there are a lot of theories that Kylo Ren and the Knights of Ren just took that saber when they burnt down the temple. Their combined forces and whatever else they brought with them that we haven't seen, whatever larger force, and then that's when they took Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. Because I think there were a lot of questions in the last trailer after Luke has that line of dialogue where he says, I saw this raw power once before. It didn't scare me then, but it scares me now. Like he's afraid of Rey and what she might become in present day. But that past power was talking about Kylo Ren. So that's why you see this alternate cut in the trailer. When he says that, it goes straight to the shot of Kylo Ren in his helmet, picking up the saber off the ground in Snoke's ship. So there's still a lot of misleading shots, but they just want to clarify a couple story beats. Like Kylo Ren was supposed to be the chosen one in Luke's mind in the past, making that line, this isn't going to go the way you think it's going to go, even more meaningful. So we talked a little bit about Rey as the new supposed chosen one, at least in the mind of Snoke in now Luke Skywalker in present day. Both of them having a lot of ideas about what they want to do with that potential for power. But Adam Driver did a big GQ interview recently where he talked about a bunch of story beats and character beats. One of them implied some backstory for Rey, but a lot of people are taking his comments out of context. So this is what he actually said. He says, you have also the hidden identity of this princess who's hiding who she really is so she can survive in Kylo Ren and her hiding behind these artifices. And then even within the article, they take that to mean her royal origins, as in people are now thinking that Rey is secretly a princess who's been in hiding. And that's part of the reason why they hid her on Jakku, in addition to being the next potential chosen one of the Force. What I think was actually going on with his comment is that he was speaking in metaphors, and he was using the term princess as an analog of chosen one of the Force, like she's a princess of the Force. Not literally a princess in the way that Princess Leia was actually a princess of Alderaan. But you guys can let me know in the comments, what do you think that Adam Driver was talking about when he said that she's a princess who's trying to hide her identity behind these layers, and they'll start peeling the layers back in the next two films? But what'll happen is, is because they're dropping more footage in the World Series is this week as I'm posting the video, there might actually be another really big trailer with completely different footage sometime in the next week or two. So if that happens, I'll totally do a video for it. The ticket giveaway is still going on. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. Congratulations to the last giveaway winner, GG Ninja. Please private message me on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact details. Click here for more brand new Star Wars and click here to listen to Jeffrey Dean Morgan talk all about being Flashpoint Batman. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.